Sixth man of the year. Well, he keeps starting games. You might lose eligibility. A false start for this one. Still to come today, Cairns and South East Melbourne. Early stages at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. Franks, as Pete said, couldn't work his way into the first half. That's a pretty good start. I think it was one where he was just looked real tentative, and that'll help his confidence as well. Brown Jr. gave up his three. He likes that floater. I mean, that game on Friday, we keep talking about it. They dodged one, the Adelaide 36ers, with 2 minutes 56 left on the clock. And Clark hit a three, and there's Ty Soto. Good finish. Good. Put that game to bed. Didn't look very convincing up until that point. But a win's a win at this point in the season. My word, there. What? Just a team. Really a little hesitant. Hey, come on. A little bit of a flat tire. He's grimacing in pain. Barrett Brown with the left hand. Creates scoring opportunities primarily for himself. And Soto, size advantage over Abercrombie. Couple of early buckets for the big man. See the breakers record on the road. He's going to go a long way in this competition if he can win games on the road. Nice touch from Cleveland, levels it up. Brantley, shot clock at three. Derek Pardon just to win it back for the breakers. Brown foul. It goes. And so far what we've seen from Barry Brown Jr. That's uh, a bit of a takes one to no one type vibe there. Oh, well, it is. Here is Brown. Just to repair. A little layup to get the Frenchman going. He only actually missed two games in total. But he has torched Adelaide in the past. In the two games this season, he had a game-high seven assists in both games, as well as double-figure points. He is the key for New Zealand, no doubt. On the back of five of their last six, and the New Zealand Breakers have been top two pretty much all season long on the back of plays like that. And that's what I'm talking about. Shoot at whether he's contested or not and just see whether Will McDowell-White wants to take that shot and how it feels and looks. <laughs> Clark lays it. 80 a game they allow the opposition. It's not the only defensive metric that's used, but it's still a pretty important one. McDowell-White, nice finish off the glass. Offensive end and that puts them in good defensive positions and don't always get exposed in the defensive transition, but Drimmick just bullets his way to the basket. He's playing really well as of late. Anthony Drimmick. Just a couple of games. And he was coming off the bench, but I think they look better when he's in that starting lineup. If you're going to go in there amongst the forest. And the Arthur buries it. Set up by Barry Brown Jr. For Anthony Drimmick, all the help is to the left side of the screen. You can't let him refuse and get downhill. This team can be on the defensive end. New Zealand, after that big layoff, as we see a turnover here, Adelaide out in transition. It's going to be the easiest way you can score against the Breakers off a turnover. Starting the second quarter for New Zealand. Franks drives. It goes. Well, that was a combination of the offensive play <laughs> followed up by that defensive play that uh, just got the attention. Jarrell Brantley. Franks has six points, four rebounds as well in the opening quarter, but was stripped by Brantley. And Adelaide gave up on the play, which meant that New Zealand had the out number and Derek Pardon with the jam. Fourth in the competition in blocks. Glidden for three. The Breakers have come out firing in this second quarter, and CJ Bruton has seen enough. And McCarran. Haven't scored in the game so far. Feeds Franks down low. That's tough over the top. Second time around. Wanted the foul. Good enough to put it back in. It's a game so far to go with eight points. That looked a lot better than just letting him bring it up or throwing it straight into him and trying to go against Darrell Brantley, who answers straight back. And that's his second bucket in the exact same fashion. He got his first. And Brantley penalises him. Here's CJ Bruton. He's not happy with the physicality. New Zealand is showing defensively. Cleveland fixes that and just drains a three over the top. I reckon within 60 seconds, Jeff Bentley might be whistled for a foul because he is being ultra physical playing on Robert Franks. CJ Bruton is barking away. Abercrombie, nice hit from the elbow. With his reputation and history, he hasn't tried to impose himself. He takes what's given and he's been really efficient for the most part on the offensive end. Here he goes again. Foul! It goes! 
The breakers are firing on all cylinders. Bullet pass from no. point blank from Derek <laughs> Parton. If that is a little higher up, that is straight in the nose of Tom Abercrombie. Cleveland steps inside. Great move. Seven on the shot clock. The Arthur swings to Abercrombie. His shot blocked. Great D by Cleveland. Okay, I wanted to charge. So that was probably the lowest percentage of that one getting gold. That wasn't happening. Danovich tees off. Well, overall, they're 51% for 12 from the three point line. And Clark banks that home. You can hear CJ. He's gone. Just trust your athleticism, and there you go. That helps. Sunday Detch with the steal on the layup. We're locked away at 35 at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. Well, we heard Rick Rupert Sapple say it and what the answer is. And what we've seen in the last few possessions, they've actually done. They've actually taken a leaf out of the breaker's book. And the Dow White gets things moving quickly. Look at this ball movement from New Zealand. They made the most of the outnumber. The Arthur, good look. He's feeling good. But are shooting 52% from the field. McDowell White swings to the Arthur. He's got another one. Yeah, that's just beautiful from Will McDowell White. Five of their last six and five in a row in this very venue. They're going to have their work cut out in the second half. Cleveland, that's the ultimate start. I know there wasn't a lot in it, but the mere fact that you were, like you were talking about at halftime, they went three sides to get to that. Coach as well, I spoke with him at halftime and I said, are you happy? He said, no. I said, why not? He said, both teams have taken 18 shots inside the paint. And they've taken 13 free throws, and we've taken five. They really do try and just break things off, and it might work against some other teams in the league, but it's just not going to work against this New Zealand team. Sono lays it up. See Brantley. Off the glass. All three of his field goals have been from the exact same block, the exact same move. Karen McCrombie is giving no space whatsoever. Franks backs in on Pardon. It's not an easy thing to do. And he's flexing as well. So it should. CJ Prune's going to have you back. Johnson hasn't made a field goal yet in the game. Rebound falls to Ian Clark. And he knocks that down. He's got nine. Good pair we haven't seen a lot of today. Bradley for three. Got his eye in at the free throw line, had his feet set. And this is a team that won their first 14 last quarters this season in 14 games. And in fact, in the 18 games they've played, they've only lost the last quarter twice. Draped all over him, Brantley, and he just shook his hand, high-fived him and said, too good, man. There's an interesting interaction between them. Rayan Repair. The what is called. You're not going to get it overturned and put on Rob Lowe. It would have been a no-call. Now White, ultra aggressive. He's now got eight points. And at the offensive end of the floor, New Zealand continue to have an answer. It's out to an equal game high lead of nine. Nice touch from Soto. See the quarter by quarter breakdowns. That's two now. Just bullies. Here comes Franks. Check out. in front for much of the game. Pear steps into the wow. three. That's the confidence. Some real confidence by the young fella. And you can see why he's continuing to rise up. Those draft boards, even without playing, he was rising up. And there's Derek Parton. That's what he does extremely well on the defensive end. More advanced in terms of that skill set. Speaking of advanced skill sets, Ian Clark does that at a very high level. All NBL first and second team in that those inside positions. That's what a pass, what a finish. See the Karen falling over there trying to chase Barry Brown around. Brantley right in front oh, oh. of the Adelaide bench. That's a tough, tough shot. 36ers fans are seeing their team in a fight. Soto, three on the clock. 
inside and scores. But the goal is sort of. The upper. See a lot of him in the third quarter. Has 11 points. Make that 13. Well, it's a really good finish. But you see why they're going with Kai Soto. No ego involved. It makes it a whole lot harder for youngsters sometimes playing that role. Oh! Soto with the baseline drive. Lucky Steph Curry leaving his feet on the pump fake. 16 oh. for Soto and then he sends that one out of there. Having himself a game. The other night against the Illawarra Hawks. Barry Brown starting to put his stamp on the fourth quarter again. No doubt, as you mentioned, it, with the playing tournament, it just makes it so interesting. you got teams trying to hang on to fifth and sixth, teams trying to get there, and then New Zealand trying to hang on to the second spot in top two. It's a really nice finish. Two from the three-point line. They're asking a lot of the young fell. No, he can't stroke it. Brown blocked. Big-time swap by Cleveland. Oh, what great hit. Now they need buckets. McCarron. He's off target. Franks with the offensive rebound and the foul. I'll tell you what, if this is on Derek Parton, that's an early shout. Cleveland. Great D from Abercrombie, but Cleveland just that little bit better. Oh, White slips over. Zealand get beyond halfway successfully. Good hands from Drimmick. He knocks it out of play. It's a two-possession game at the oh entertainment centre. Oh. Antonius Cleveland downhill and then the stuff. Oh, Liafa with a hand in the face. That's a tough look. Limited action. We're going to be seeing that dunk, that play for a long time. He swings to Drimmick for the lead. It's short. Great pass. Brantley. Guarded by the youngster Galloway. Muscles in. No call. They can tie it or win it. Eight seconds remaining. Clark for three. It's no good. Good look. New Zealand come up with the ball and they hang on. Their record away from home speaks for itself this season and they've done it again.